back to our channel today we have a different and fun video for you yep. guys we're going to be filming a hispanic mukbang and we're going to be basically representing where our parents are from i'm so excited because i freaking love soggy food i love mexican food i was tired of it for a while but i'm getting like <laughs> i'm going through that phase where i like mexican food now so I've been obsessed with Mexican food, so I can't wait. <laughs> and I'm starving, so I can't wait to eat. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alondra. And I'm Elsie. So if you guys want to keep up with us, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And turn on those post notifications to be notified every time we upload a new video. And we do give away $100 in every single one of our videos. So if you guys want to enter, all you have to do is comment, like, and subscribe. On the right hand corner, we have Alondra. She's ready. On the left hand corner, we got Italy representing El Salvador. Aren't they so cute? I know, look how cute our little things are. So, yeah, we are going to do a mukbang rep in River from. Because we want to make this mukbang representing Latinas. Yes, we're representing our parents. My parents are from Mexico, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And I'm representing all the cipotas today. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys are going to ask where, where specifically our parents are from. So uh, my dad is from Santa Ana, El Salvador. And then my mom is from La Union de Agua Caliente. I hope I'm saying that right. But Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so my mom is from Jalisco and my dad is from Michoacan. Give it up for the Latinas. <laughs> if you guys already can guess what we're gonna eat, comment down below. Yes. Comment yes. down below where you're from as well. Oh yeah. Comment down below if you are if you're either Salvadorian or Mexican. Comment down below where your parents are from, what cities are from, or if you're from I don't know Nicaragua, from somewhere else. Comment down below too. We want to see all the Latinas in this video. <laughs> to be honest, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure a lot of people guess tacos. For Alondra. I got so this. No yeah. So. And I got bufus. Oh, all of a sudden I'm Salvadoran. <laughs> I got a, a revuelta pupusas with the with the cortido and then the salsa. My mouth is getting water, I can't even talk. <laughs> and then I also got Platanos, platanos fritos with crema and fruit. Oh, I've never tried them. It's so good. It sounds so like a weird combo, but it looks good. Oh, so you enjoy the you're, like, <laughs> huh, you're like, oh, the sofas look a little dry. <laughs> what you get, girl? What you get? I got some sofas. I'm not like a huge fan of sofas, but you know, it's a Mexican dish. And then, what I'm like really craving right now are it these. so good. These are chilaquiles. I love chilaquiles. With some rice and some beans and sour cream. Mm. When Alondra was ordering them on the phone, the oh <laughs> my god, he was giving me a hard time. Okay, so I ordered chilaquiles and it usually comes with eggs. So I was like, okay, can I get that without eggs? And then he was like, really? Without eggs? I was like, mm -hmm. and then I was like, can I get two sopas too? And he's like, two? I was like, hell yeah, what do you mean two? Judging me? The book? And then he yeah, had to say, Oh, do you want your, your food with um, tortillas? She I'm like, like, no shit, you like, let's <laughs> our tortillas. <laughs> then I'm like, what am I gonna get some rice and beans? Uh -huh. And I also got an horchata, and horchata. I had to get water. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, look, mine actually fits here. Oh, I'm gonna take it off. Actually, no, we'll leave it there. Yeah, we're gonna. But we can't disrespect our flag, so we can dirty it. Let's hope we don't dirty it. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, she won you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're exercising <laughs> our food. <laughs> and we didn't, have, we didn't even talk about what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> we're not gonna tell you guys what we're doing. We're gonna show you guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm like so obsessed with our little bandanas. And we have an event to, to go to tonight. And I think I'm gonna just wait this. <laughs> we should take a selfie. It's that cute. Mm -hmm. So, we are just going to be reading you guys some negative comments that we see throughout YouTube, Instagram, and all that. And we're going to be responding to them. So, get seated, get your food ready, get your hot Cheetos, whatever you guys eat, and let's start this video. Yum! 
Okay guys, so I found a comment and they said, why do they sound so fucking chilly? Their voices are annoying as fuck. Let me respond to that hate comment. Okay. Oh, okay, did goodness. you know that my first <laughs> dog ever ran away? Your dog and didn't like you. She was like, peace out. <laughs> and I was <laughs> sad as fuck. <laughs> How old was your dog? What kind of dog was it? It was a mouthy poo. She was so cute and oh. she used to love me, but I think she ran away. Someone left the gate open and she ran away and never came <laughs> back. I was so sad. I legit cried over that freaking dog. So I found one on Instagram and it's under, it's in one of my videos. It says, it says this is the kind of hoe that never passed high school because she was too busy sleeping with an older man. Now she made it because he paid her away. Interesting. Okay, and I think I'm gonna respond. Speaking about dogs, when I was in a foster home with my sisters, we had our foster care parents dogs in the closet. Oh my god, we the? were very upset. It's gonna be like, what the fuck? I remember we were so freaking pissed that we were in a foster care, so we, we took it all on the dogs. Aww. But don't don't get it wrong, you guys. We freaking love. Foster. You love dogs. Yeah, we freaking love animals. We were just young and dumb and angry and confused and lost, so we didn't know how to take it out. <laughs> I found another one. He said, You make me gag every time you lick your straw laundry on and they put the little puking faces. When I was younger, I used to hate Dr. Pepper, but now it's my fave. You used to hate Dr. Pepper? Uh huh. Why? Because I used to hate Dr. Pepper when I was younger. I used to think it tasted like medicine. You no. love it now. I love Dr. Pepper. Okay. I found one, and this is on my Instagram, and it says, and it's from a guy. He put LMAO, fake teeth, fake boobs, fake everything. How can anyone find you attractive when you're fake? When I was younger, I threw a pine cone at my sister's head because <laughs> we were racing and she was beating me. I'm fucking so dead. <laughs> also, that's what we're doing now. When someone's winning, I'll, I'm just gonna get a pine cone and throw it at their head. Yeah, so if you if you want to race and you're winning me, I'm gonna go find a pine cone before I race. <laughs> you already know what's coming behind your head. <laughs> and it hit her so hard. She was oh so bad. Like what I, I was, was Betty. Oh, <laughs> did she cry? I think she did. I don't know. I think she cried but of angerness. Like she oh. literally wanted to smash my head on the fucking floor. Okay, so I found a comment on one of my pictures. He's like, you have such a freaking big boobs, Oh, you're so ugly. <laughs> such a freaking big boobs. <laughs> and I was 13, I got arrested. She's gonna be so confused. I know. So I actually got arrested when I was 13 for running away. It's a long story, but and I can't go like into details about, but that's basically what I got arrested for. That was jail. Huh? That was jail. <laughs> they had me in a little, um, like the police department. Like a cell phone. And it's funny because my mom was like, no, um, my dad was trying to get me out and my mom was like, no, so she could learn her lesson. And I think I was there overnight. I don't know, I was a little 13 year old fucking, I look so fucking ugly, oh my god. But yeah, I got my mug shots taken. When I'm fucking dead at 13 year old. <laughs> you stole some candy. I stole some candy and I got arrested. <laughs> okay, I found one. So this one, they actually DM'd it to me. <laughs> and what do you know? It's another guy. <laughs> he said, You think you're special? He didn't even spell you. He said, You think you're special because you have a lot of followers. He was like, Get a hold of yourself. You're just another regular ass chick that just so happens to have a lot of dumb ass people to follow and worship you. Oh, <laughs> he's like, he man. He, <laughs> he says, Snap into reality. You just a regular ass. 
curse. <laughs> when I was in middle school, my mom used to make me so candy at school. Oh my god. And she'd take all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Would she really do that? Hell yeah. You wouldn't tell her where's my money at? Oh, no, where is my pocket? Where is mm. my part? <laughs> it's because what my mom used to do, um, we used to like legit live off food stamps, like EBT. Oh, really? So, like, we used to buy, oh, my mom used to make me like buy her Cheetos. Oh, I was your candy plug in middle school, your hot Cheeto plug. If you, if you wanted hot Cheetos, everybody knew where to find me. <laughs> if you went to work, like, is that like, that good? good? And you're probably like, what you want? Same so, Cheeto anymore. And <laughs> I'm not slating the money and the chips with it. <laughs> so my, what my mom used to do, she used to like buy the hot Cheetos, the candy with the EBT and turn it into money. Like if that makes sense. Oh, was she smart? <laughs> so, and, but I used to be her, her little hustler because oh she used to hustle me. I, I never used to get money. She used to pay me with hot Cheetos. Oh, <laughs> you were fine with me? You're like, I was like, with it. I was like, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be too shy to so candy. I was that shy. I would literally not talk to anyone. I was the hella shy. I couldn't fucking even talk to my classmates like nobody. Oh, I was even shy God. to talk to my damn teachers. That's interesting. I never knew that about you. Oh no, no, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm not embarrassed like about the whole EBT thing because. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's free money. Like, who doesn't want free money? I wish I still had EBT before. I used to have a friend who he used to get EBT too, and every time it would be the first, we used to text each other. We used to be like, oh, do you know what date is? Because I'm the first, is when oh they deposit your, your food stamps. And so, since it was normal for somebody to pull out an EBT card. Oh, really? Because it's like, hello, we have free money. Like, and when someone would, would pay with cash, we used to be like, Oh, we used to be buying a budget. Oh <laughs> literally. God. Okay, guys, so I found another one. <laughs> she put, I literally can't send them and they say I'm fucking thin. It's so stupid. Okay. When I was in seventh grade, my mom bought, oh shit, my mom bought me some. <laughs> Knock off eggs and some kids made a fun of me and I went oh <laughs> crying. Oh, they're they're those boots that look like Uggs but they don't have anything on the back. Logo. This is fun. <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> Did you tell your mom anything? Yeah, she didn't care though. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> It's because I didn't know about Uggs back then. I know, I remember when I would see people were either Gap or like Ugg or something. I was like, damn, they got money. Uh huh, or when in middle school when they would wear those white Aeropostale shirts. Oh, like college shirt stuff? Uh huh, I was like, oh, damn, you popping, you rich. <laughs> okay, I found this comment on one of my IG pictures. She said, why are your eyes too far apart though? One day when my sister and I were walking to the grocery store, a crackhead <laughs> came, came up to us and pulled out a knife on us. Oh, damn, it got, it got special, it got dangerous. <laughs> That's scary, what the hell? Hell yeah. What did you guys do? How did you guys react? We're so, we're so dumb. I think we reacted like the most dumbest way. So mm -hmm. like we were like on a very main street. We were on Western. Mm -hmm. And then you guys live, like well you guys live in LA. And Western is full of crackheads at night. Like it's not safe. We did. We, since we got so scared, we literally like ran across the street without like seeing if cars were coming. Oh. Because we got so scared that we were like, I don't know, I was just like, Zoom. Like, no, I think I would have done the same thing. Yeah, we don't know what to do and then it's so scary the whole time. I like I do I don't know, I didn't know how to react. I found another comment. This was left on my Instagram. This was like from an IG video. They put y'all are so fake and fucking stiff. I was my parents are gonna watch this like <laughs> when I was 15, a guy pulled out a gun on me. Weird. 
and tell me why <laughs> it happened in Bell Garden. Oh my god. Were you by yourself when this happened? No, I was with two other friends and it was like nighttime and we were walking around the city. I don't know, I guess we were bored. And then there's this guy that was trying to get at us and he was in a car and then my friend being like defensive, she just yelled out, she was just like, fuck you and he pulled out a freaking gun on us and we fucking ran to her house. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going out with you guys no more. Oh, what the fuck? Was it like a cholo? Yeah. Oh. I was so shook because I, I don't know. I guess I didn't know about gangs back then. I was so clueless. <laughs> I'm like an innocent little kid. You're like a capiche. Why he has a lot of good? Oh. Oh, I mean, you're like capiche. <laughs> She's like capiche. She's like cholo. He's like oh. <laughs> He's like, what a mess it. And then you're like, nice, <laughs> I can imagine you're just fucking around with him. I never see if I have one. Um, so this is on one of all my videos on IG. They said, you can't shake your ass for shit, LMAO. What is you doing? Hashtag cringe. I've gotten kicked out of a Burger King. Oh my god. <laughs> Burger King, oh my god, I cannot spell. Burger King for pooping on the slides. How old were you? I was freaking young. I remember my sisters were so mad because of my fault and being kicked out of Burger King because I don't know, I just couldn't. I could have hold in my poopies. How old were you though? I don't know. I think it was like 20, 21. No, I was like, I don't know, like 10, 9, 8. Oh, damn, you were older. I was old. Oh my god. I thought I was young, so I'm trying to. Okay, I was five. <laughs> no, like, I think I was like around like 9, 10 ish. Holy fuck. At least from, from, from what I remember. That's so funny. I literally like the whole slide, like the one that was like this. <laughs> it was a shitty slide. <laughs> it was a shitty slide. It was the chocolatey, twirly slide. Like, uh -huh. but, like, did you poop? Like in your pants or like you like put your pants I down? think like I pooped so much. I don't know if it was Aria, but I'm pretty sure it was Choro. Oh. And literally like on the like on the slide. Like oh my the God, slides so were shitty. <laughs> it was a shitty ass day. <laughs> So I found another comment on one of our YouTube videos and they put all that makeup on both of them and you can see they are ugly, just being honest. My mom <laughs> hit me with a pan when I was younger. <laughs> you got a pedazo. Did, did you ask her for her hands after? I asked her for her pants. <laughs> He was just like, oh, you want these hands? Oh, no, huh, you, you said, said pants? Huh? <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Why should you get the pants, boy? I don't remember, but I used to be a bad kid. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I was such a bad kid, and I would always get my ass whooped. And the apartment was set up to, like, I don't know, it was a weird setup, but I was running around in circles around the house. And then she finally caught me, and <laughs> bam! She smacked my ass with a pen. Oh, and I had a big ass chipote. Oh, uh, did she have this icing for you? You know what I had for dinner that night? An ass whooping. An ass whooping. Yeah. I'm fucking. Oh, oh, you better catch her on sight. She's just gonna, gonna be like, what you say? <laughs> She's like, we took it there on YouTube. Like, catch these pants? No. <laughs> She's gonna have to throw me a pen because I'm always talking shit. <laughs> Where don't mommy? Oh. Next comment. I found this one on one of our YouTube videos. This one says, all those plastic surgeries and no brains. The OC chick needs to fix her teeth. When I was around 14 or 15 years old, years old, I found my dad on Google as a criminal. Oh, I also, I don't remember if I ever asked you this. Did you ever meet him? Yeah, so we yeah we used to live with him when we were younger. Oh right, right, right. So I I know who he is. I know what he looks like. But it's just crazy because like we got away from him when I was like what five, and then I had a friend when I was like 13, 14. I don't know how old I was. Like, 13, I think I was like 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And then apparently he was seeing like her aunt or something. 
What? And then, like, it's just, it was a crazy ass story. I swear to you, this is a novella. Oh my <laughs> god, that seems like it just sounds like. And to this day, like, I still talk to that girl too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And what then, like, I'm mean? guessing, like, her aunt was, like, seeing him. Or I don't know who was seeing who, but he used to, like, go there all the time. Mm -hmm. And I used to go there all the time, but I never knew it was him. Oh, so I ran into him and then we're not supposed to because there's a restraining order like, oh, with him. Oh my god. So, and then one day my mom, because the lady, she sold the malas. So one day my mom went to go buy the malas from her. And then she seen my dad sitting on the couch and my mom got so mad. Oh my god. And, and you never recognized him? Like, no, this? he looks different from what last time I seen him. That's crazy. I used to hang out with him, I used to chill with him. I didn't even know You're like, what's up, homie? <laughs> Okay. Who needs a daddy when you got a sugar daddy? Ah! <laughs> okay, so advanced in the one. OMG, they're not funny. They're so dry. Why does everyone think they're funny? Y'all have no humor. When I was younger, my eyelashes ripped off, so I had to go a whole <laughs> year without eyelashes. Were you trying to trim them? No, it's because you know when your eyelash curler, the little gummy part, like it's cut down all the way so it cuts your eyelashes instead of curling them. Well, that happened to me. So both my freaking, all my eyelashes fell out and it took me a whole freaking year for my eyelashes to grow back. I didn't know it took that long, but literally I was bald as fuck. I didn't even know our eyelashes grew. Yeah, I've been going out for so long. Look how short they are. Huh. So yeah, for a whole year, I really didn't know freaking eyelashes took that long to grow out. I look so funny, and I remember when I when and I remember when I had no eyelashes. I tried to get eyelash extensions, <laughs> and the the girl that was trying to do my eyelashes was so confused because you know with eyelash extensions, they like glue the fake hairs on top of your real lashes. Oh right. She was like, "What do I glue them to?" <laughs> And they had to glue the eyelashes um, to my actual eyelids, like on my lash line. And I remember the glue would fucking burn because literally, because obviously you have to glue the fake lashes onto the real lashes. Is that even safe for them to do that? Probably not. Yeah. No, and I remember it burned so bad that it, like my eyes kept on like watering. But that's what my dodo ass gets, trying to look cute, but I yeah. accidentally I put my eyelashes on. Yeah, I have to use an eyelash cleaner because my eyelashes are so straight. Yeah, could you cut them? <laughs> it's probably it. um, And ever since then, my eyelashes grew back super thin. They never grew back like the oh. same. I used to have like really full, thick eyelashes. Now they look like... What are those? It's okay, but you know why? Because you got the lash bar and lace. Oh, bar. yes, girl. You already know. Who needs real lashes when you have the lash bar? <laughs> That's our mom. <laughs> okay, so I found another one. This one's on, is under one of my pictures and it's from a big page. It says, girl, you got them impasse, way too big for your thighs. In high school, one of my very close friends gave oral sex <laughs> to his ex and said her <laughs> Tasted like some chicken. What the fuck? <laughs> some fried chicken to be exact. Oh my god! It tastes like seafood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't understand who does that. Like when a girl asks, like, "Oh, so like, how did that vagina taste?" Like while he's doing it, a guy is not supposed to be like, "Oh, could it taste like chicken?" He's like, "Tastes a little lemony." Yeah. He's, like, mm, uh. he's like, "It tastes kind of like sushi." I would have been so hurt if a guy told me that. Like oh, so like who? Chicken. So who asked him? His ex? His ex, yeah. Well, his oh. girlfriend, his current girlfriend at the time. Oh, yeah. My. And it was the first time doing all this, I guess. And then she asked him, oh, like, how does it taste like? Ah, and she expected him, she expected him to be like, oh, she's like pineapple. Uh, no. Like, she's like chicken. He's like, it tastes like bonobo <laughs> Oh, but the hell no, he fucking told her it oh, tastes like some chicken. Up. I know, I was just like, you're so stupid. Like, you don't say that. Like, what's I wrong know. with you? But it, it was. Is the one worth the time that? I'm getting secure. Hell yeah, I would like, be like, why, why does it taste like chicken? Like, you know what? I'm gonna go hide with my chicken vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're 
said. I will not come out of hiding until my pollito is ready and fully cooked. <laughs> Right. Well, until it's seasoned. <laughs> okay, guys, so I know some of you guys are probably super confused, but what we were trying to do is respond to hate comments with random facts about us instead of responding to the negativity, instead of like giving the attention to the negative things. We didn't like right. respond back in a hateful way, we just responded back like stating random facts about us. Yeah, because we, I feel like we want to show at least you guys that like. We just kind of laugh off like everything that comes our way, like especially all like the negative comments. Like you guys just kind of have to find a way just to laugh it off. Cause trust me, we've heard it all. We know what you guys say online. Like we could see it, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like it's like if we are throwing negatives at you guys, and then we're gonna keep on like it's gonna be a constant battle of negativity. So yeah, and this to me is kind of like why are we going to acknowledge that? Why are we gonna like even bother? Expressing our neg like how we feel about uh -huh. the comment they said like expressing our anger towards the comment and you should like brush the comments off and like either ignore them or like laugh it off mm -hmm. And then I feel like the main thing that I always think to myself when somebody does say anything negative um, Either about me or her. I'm just like dude. There's like little kids with cancer in the hospital right now Like are you really just worried about how like my teeth looked or like how our bodies look or like I don't know I feel like that shouldn't get to anybody like there's kids out there suffering so we i feel like everybody should and including us like we shouldn't let negative comments get to us because no right people have a worse out there so it how's that fair for us to mm -hmm. be really upset over a negative comments especially right. with like somebody who don't even know us i know it's mostly little kids that comment yeah. negative things like that and you shouldn't let those comments get to you because people leaving those type of comments are obviously like angry at the freaking world so yeah but we do want to challenge you guys and that if and if you guys do see a negative comment either if it's towards us or even you i we challenge you guys to kind of do the same just throw them a little bit of your past just say like a little comment random fact about you <laughs> they're gonna be confused Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna be confusion, but it's okay. <laughs> and I feel like people are leaving those type of comments just want a reaction out of you. Yeah. And if you don't give them the reaction they want, it's just gonna get them mad. So it's like, I win. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the whole video was about. Just in case you guys are like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And then we just want to say that Latinos are. We just winning. wanted to like, hundred percent. Our Latinas, our you know, Caucasian, our Asians, our African American, we are all winning. Yeah. Latinas are winning more than. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, bro. We're all winning. Uh, we wanted to represent because since everyone calls us Chunti, you guys always talk about yeah. our accents. We wanted to take pride in that, you know? Exactly. Like, hello, we're Latinas. We're supposed to have accents. Yeah, our first language was Spanish, for God's sake. So obviously, we're going to have an accent. So. Hell yeah. So here's to our Chuntines. And that is it for today's video because we have an event to go to. We need to. I know we're like in a rush right now. We have to like change, get ready in like 10 minutes. So we gotta go, homies. Ah. Um, thanks for watching. There's no giveaway. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Just okay, we're gonna announce the giveaway winner and we'll end this. I love this one. This one was my favorite. That was because. Oh, I know. That was so, so cute. cute. Yeah. So our giveaway winner for this video is Vivian Vlogs. Congrats. Yay. Congrats on your baby. I know, spend that money on your baby. Oh, you, since we're her madrinas now, we have to give the baby some little money. So here's one hundred dollars for the babies. We cannot wait to see our god um, daughter or god uh, son. What uh -huh. <laughs> I see. I hope you named it after one of us. I know, or else I'm gonna need those one hundred dollars back. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I was gonna say just kidding for you. Oh, I, was, I was gonna say just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> But anyways, congratulations, boo. So make sure to DM the madrinas, either me or Elsie, to claim your $100. Your comadres got you, boo. Huh? <laughs> and we'll see you guys in our next video.